What's up everyone? Drew Snipes here with Peters and Gears and on today's episode we continue to see do all crate amplifiers sound good? If you've seen my channel a few weeks ago I posted a video review and demo of this crate G600XL and was absolutely blown away by how good this amplifier sounded. Uh, I did have a bad taste of crate amps from the early 2000s uh, to late 2000, 2008, 2009. I did have a bad taste and this thing kind of like opened my eyes to the world of crate amplifiers. So I was like, wow, awesome. What else I got? And not a day after I posted that video, I saw on eBay, there was another one for sale, another crate amp for sale on eBay for $50. $50. I could do that for $50. And it was local pickup only, like an hour from my house. I was like, yep, doing it. So I drove up, picked it up, and here she is. This is the Crate GX900H. And I'm super excited to see what we can get out of this thing. Is it better than the G600XL? Is it worse? Is it the same, just a different package? Let's find out together. All right, so we got the crate all hooked up and ready to go. But first, the signal chain today is going to be this Kramer Beretta Special going into the front of the crate, going into this Randall 4x12 behind me, and then RG8 to the right of the camera. And this goes through some features. So this amp's pretty cool, uh, the front of it. A uh, very simple, clean crate front. Uh, you get your nice reverbs, so your independent reverbs for the clean and the overdrive channel, which is pretty cool uh, if you like reverb on your clean and not on your overdrive you can set it up dial it in so you're not chasing your uh, your pedal board to flip the channels which is pretty cool um clean channel is very simple three band eq high mid lows your level and then your overdrive this is where all the crate amps bread and butter is right the overdrive channel you get your level three band eq and then there's two gain stages the game one and the game two uh i'm going to start off with them maxed out and see if they are identical or is it just like a gain ones here gain twos here like is it just a boost to your overdrive sound so let's get into it first with the clean channel So this is at uh, 12 o'clock. thing up this is going to be game one <laughs> game one everything at 12 o'clock game max <laughs> Channel. So let's move on. Channel 2. 
Gain two. There it is. So that's definitely more of the crate sound I was looking for. Let's crank the bass up. Put it back to where I had the other channel. So highs and lows at 12, at three o'clock, and the mids at two. Definitely feels a lot more modern than the Crate G600 XL sounded. Uh, that is definitely your early 90s death metal sound in that amplifier. This is more of a modern. I can put you to turn these mids all the way off. You're going to get that. period where this thing came out so your your new metal era of, of heavy metal music um, no lows really low tune guitars does it really good awesome so still a really amazing amplifier from crate Oh, I love these things, man. I don't know. Who'd have thought? Two for two on these crate amps. This thing is really, really good. Different than, I think I prefer the G600XL over this one. It's more of a death metal crunchy tone to it. Uh, but this thing is really, really, really good. Let's turn this mids back up. Put everything at 3 o'clock. Crank the mids. See if we can get that sound. Mids all the way up. So there you go. Uh, mids all the way up. It's kind of going to get you that sound. Um, but this is kind of like you can tell that they were trying to modernize themselves at this time. Um, gearing more towards the new metal crowd. So maxing the mids out on this is basically the same as having the mids on the crates g600 xl at 12 o'clock so definitely more of a mid push on the crate g600 uh but the gx900 is is more new metal horrible turn that is <laughs> Final thoughts on the Crate GX900H. This thing is pretty awesome, man. So Crate uh, information on this brand is very hard to come by as far as like really release dates, timelines, like when this came out. But you can definitely tell that this is a late '90s amplifier, um, definitely leaning towards the the new metal group of artists to try to get them into their amplifiers. Uh, not as mid pushed as the Crate G600XL or the GX130C. Uh, definitely not as death metal in this thing. Um, you can get it if you crank all the mids all the way up, but this definitely looks like it was made more towards the scooped mid drop B guitars of the late 90s, uh, which is cool, which is cool to each their own. I really you know, I grew up in the late 90s and I loved all that new metal stuff. Um, so definitely love the sounds that we get out of this thing. So no real complaints. These things are awesome. Great amps. Two for two for me. Pretty awesome. Pretty awesome. So I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. Putting out videos every Tuesday at 6.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Got a lot of cool stuff. Including an unboxing next week that's going to be really, really awesome.
really, really tied into this and the Crate G600XL. Yes, I got another Crate amplifier. Pretty cool. So stay tuned for next week. Unboxing on that thing. This is Drew Snipes, Beers and Gears. This is the Crate GX900H. See you in the next one.